So you all have been invited here today by our couple to share this great moment in their lives. We are here to celebrate their love and each time we gather in the name of love, there is magic happening. Julie, Anthony, to honor this beautiful relationship of yours, let your marriage be a true refuge of peace, of warmth and harmony. And of course, continue to laugh much because laughter is the key to complicity and it's the joy of being oneself without any mask. you have shared your vows and consents you have concealed your union by the exchange of the rings and you have received clear very enthusiastic blessings from your guests by the authority of the province of Quebec vested in me as an ordained minister but much more because I really believe in the sincerity of your love it's a delight for me to pronounce you husband and wife and you may now kiss your bride <laughs> Since Julie and I have been kids, I've always looked up to her. Uh, you've always been such an important part of my life, and I don't know what I would ever have done without you, and I'm so happy that you have found your happy ending with Anthony. Anthony, you came into my life when I was only 13 years old, and he's always been like a brother I never had. And I wish you both all the love and happiness life can give you. I love you both. As much as we bug each other, I couldn't be happier that Julie is marrying Anthony. He has made her happy for the last 12 years, and there's nothing more we could ask for. Anthony, you're not joining the family. You've been family for over a decade. You just suddenly decided to put a ring on it. Cheers to the happy family. <laughs> Their timeline may not have been a conventional one so far, but from the very beginning, we all knew they were meant to be with each other. I'm so proud of everything they've accomplished together during that time, and I'm so lucky to have gained an amazing sister in the process. Please join me in a toast to celebrate their love and a special day.